nothing in the cup and they're there like you've just poured that now either you have third degree burns on your tongue or there's nothing in the cup now pack it in anyways I hope everyone's well I know this is becoming the new staple of my videos the hood up uh, in the past it's been my cap backwards um, for like the first two years oh god I got runny nose sorry about that um, now it seems to be the hood up because let me show you about the hood it's just a lot of hair I really need a haircut um, so yeah we're just gonna go with the hood up look for today again
Shotter, who I think will be getting a lot of games for Liverpool with no Mane or Salah there. Uh, Bakaya Saka in the Arsenal away at Tottenham this weekend. Then up front I've got Danny Ings again, Villa, so he's up front against the United at Villa Park. And Dominic Carver Lewin is my other striker. I've had him in there. I brought him in the other day for. I think I took Ronaldo out because he hasn't scored in God knows how long in the Prem, so Ronaldo went out. And I brought in uh, Carver Lewin. I think, you know, okay, he's back to fitness. He's going to start banging at the goals, but I don't think he will. And then I had uh, Dennis.
we know we're going down. And what? Never seen anything like it. Anyway, um, yeah, so this trip here, five million quid. Now, you will get your assists. But the only problem is, Newcastle are going to concede a lot of goals this season between now and the end. Unless they bring in some one or two, at least two top defenders, central defenders. As of right now, they haven't brought anyone in in central defence. But five million quid for um, Trippier is not bad. Like I said, he'll get you assists with Chris Wood up front. Uh, you're going to get some points there. Um, obviously, you've got Philippe Coutinho, who's now signed for Villa. Signing. I had a little look, I don't think he's on the uh, on the app yet. I have enough quick gander because I've not searched for him. I couldn't see him on the um, on the transfer list though. Let me uh, just type in his name. It might be that they've not updated it yet. No, Coutinho is not available on the app as of yet.
just saying that he's, de- he's a decent player, really. There's not much about his point scoring. Luke Thomas at Leicester. Um, he's quite cheap at 4.3 million. But is he going to be first choice week in, week out? I'm not too sure. I think he's ahead of um, Castagna, isn't he? In the pickings at left back. Let's see if we can find anything more here. have been added I think to the list you have the new Everton left back don't forget what's his name I'm trying to find out oh Vitali Mikelenko he's took over from we're going to be taken from Luka Dina he's available for 5 million quid again we got Dora Carvaloon up front you could get some assists you got Nathan Patterson on the other side at Everton I've got I think he'll come straight to that team ahead of uh, Seamus Coleman who is getting on at like 30 odd do I expect Patterson to be in from the weekend I think over the next few weeks he'll become the first choice regular uh, Hassan Kamara defender at Watford yeah. Samir another defender for Watford yeah. KMB and midfielder at Watford not them three would even get on my bench in my team if I'm being honest. Um, what else have we got here? Bear with. Uh, just looking through their recommendations. They've only got Trippy and uh, continue on there. What else have they got over here though? This is players that the fixtures favour in terms of teams that might have a good fixture list. So if you need a new goalkeeper, David De Gea, they're 5.2 million. That is a ridiculous price. How cheap that is. He's averaging 5.2 points per match over the last five outings. He's combined two clean sheets with four save points and four bonus points. Bonus, bonus points in that time. So David Hare, 5.2 million. He's actually cheaper than Hugo Lloris, who is 5.4 million. And he's averaging 5.1 points per match since Conte arrived at Tottenham. And he uh, will be up against Arsenal and Leicester in the next two games. Um, and then they have Southampton and Wolves at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Robert Sanchez of Brighton, 4.6 million. Um, and they are going to be at home twice in one week, taking on Palace and Chelsea due to one of the games being called off in the past. Um, Daniel Backman at Watford, 4.3 million. I'd leave him with Ben Foster, 4.1 million. Still a major injury down for Watford. Backman could be a handy budget option for Manchester playing their bench booster chip. So maybe have Backman on your bench and you could pick up some points because Ben Foster might still be out injured. The problem with that though, they have Newcastle and Burnley both will be up for that game against Watford um, but Backman did make 9 saves and earned 3 save points against Man City and Tottenham in his last 4 outings not bad Kepa Ariza Belaga don't forget Mendy is away so Ariza Belaga at 4.7 million could be a bargain signing for the next few weeks yeah, don't forget to send Mendy out your team if he's currently in there. And with him being Senegalese, he could be there for a little while. Um, okay. And these eight teams, I'll tell you now, all have two games in the next week, I think. So therefore, if you have any other players in your team, 
because they are picked for both games, you could be picking up extra points. So we have at Brentford, they have Liverpool and United. Liverpool away, United at home. Brighton have Palace at home, Chelsea at home. Burnley have Leicester and Watford at home. Chelsea have Man City away and Brighton away. Leicester have Burnley away, Tottenham at home. Man United are away twice, flipping it to Villa and Brentford. Arsenal, sorry, Tottenham are at home to Arsenal and away to Leicester. And Watford are away to Newcastle and away to Burnley. If you have any Watford defenders in your team, I'll take them out now. Get them out of there. Because away to Newcastle and Burnley, I do not fancy their chances of picking up a clean sheet in either of those games. I thought Dennis was away, but the AFCON, but apparently according to this, he's just been out injured recently. So I've got to took him on my team. That could be a mistake. Let's have a little look. I'm going to have to bring him back, buddy. Um, transfers. Let me just see what was going on here then. Because I do fancy um, Dennis away to Watford and Newcastle more than Ivan Tony against Man United or Liverpool. What's it said about Dennis? He's got a 75% chance of playing um, away at Newcastle. Shall I stick him in? They're a solid Watford and pretty bang average, aren't they? Uh, to the point of not being trustworthy. Let's have a little look at our table. Um, if we can find the bloody thing. Where is it at? Uh, down here somewhere. It's hiding. Here we go. Uh, is this my league? I set up. Yes, it is. I set the league up and yet I couldn't remember what it was called. So I was near the bottom uh, the last time we did a video. And there are 75 people in our league. And I've moved up somehow to 63rd. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm on 924 points. I gained 46 on my last um, weekend of football. So not this weekend, just gone. The last Premier League week was a week before. But way ahead on 1338 points is Citizen Kane. Uh, he's in first place. Three points behind is T Girl FC. I don't know where the hell they've come from because that's the first time I've seen their them on here that I remember. Um, then on 1322 we have Alison Wonderland. 1313 Chapman Town. 1313 in fifth place. 360 now Pope. 1301 we have Stoke alone in 6th place in 7th we have Sunny Chill in 8th we have Fish Can't Drive in 9th Mighty Reds Reserves and in 10th Tactical Masterclass so well done guys if you're in the top 10 congratulations um, we'll start doing these fantasy football videos again on a more regular basis we have like, I think all the games are on this weekend, as far as I'm aware. So if that's the case, then we can um, do a video next week, a catch up of all the games and all the points and how well your team did and etc etc. So, yeah, you can expect a video next week regarding our fantasy football league guys. Take it easy. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.